What's going on y'all? Welcome to the Single Guy channel. My name is Lloyd. I am not the single guy. So what we're going to talk about today is how to get that one girl. I would say probably half the messages, more than half of the messages that I get in my inbox on a daily basis are from guys that have this story about this one particular girl that they're really interested in. They maybe had some back and forth between her or whatever it is, and they're trying to win this girl over, okay? They're trying to get this girl to want to date them, to be in a relationship with them, um, to have some sort of romantic connection, okay? Or romantic relationship with this person. Nine times out of 10, my advice for this person is to stop putting the girl on a pedestal and to try and find other girls that are gonna be a better fit for them. Because if they're having a lot of problems now, the problems usually won't end. Now, every single time I tell them this, none of them listen to my advice and they still continue to pursue that one girl. So I'm actually going to answer this question a little bit differently now and tell you guys when I was actually able to get that one girl. Meaning there was a girl that I really liked in my college and um, I was really interested in her. I wanted to date her. I was super interested, probably too interested in her. Um, and I'll tell you about that and I'll tell you uh, uh, the correct way of being able to do this. Okay, so. Uh, I'll just start with my story. Now, when I was in college, I was really interested in this one girl. Um, we were friends and we used to hang out a lot. I couldn't tell if she was interested in me, but I, you know, I was thinking about her a lot. I, I was really interested in her, okay? It's definitely a lot of unhealthy uh, feelings going on there. But nevertheless, uh, I thought I was spinning. I thought I was in love. So we would hang out a lot and I felt like this person was like the exact type of girl that I wanted to date. Um, you know, her personality, her looks, uh, you know, the activities, like her ambition, like all of this stuff I thought was perfect. I thought she, as some people say, checks all of the boxes. And what I would do was I would kind of plan my day around like trying to be able to spend time with her or sorry, plan my week. You know, I have classes and I had everything that I was doing. So I would do that. And eventually I felt like I was too much of being a friend with her. So I decided that I was gonna tell her what my feelings were. So I wrote it down on a piece of paper, I practiced it in front of the mirror. I told her that I really liked her, that I thought she was really smart. I thought she was really cool. I thought she was really pretty and I wanted to take her out on a date. And I said those exact words. And to my surprise, she actually agreed to go out on a date with me. And so I went on this date. It was like one of the happiest moments of my, of my college <laughs> up until that point. It was like freshman year, I think. And I had a great time. Then she came away from that date and we texted for a little bit, but then she actually messaged me telling me that she didn't think it was a good idea for us to go on a second date. And uh, then she ghosted me completely. You know, all that friendship, all that time that we had spent together, didn't talk to me at all. Okay, so I was really hurt by this. And then I found out through some other people that I think she got back together with her ex-boyfriend or something like that. So I was really hurt by this. So I decided that I was gonna cut all contact from her. Didn't talk to her. If she was in a class, I would drop it. If she was talking to a group of friends that I knew, I would just walk away, okay? If she was at a party, I would leave. That was my policy, was to kind of get her out of my life so I could move on. And I thought that that was actually the right thing to do. And I did other things, I dated other girls. And then two years go by. Two years go by and I run into her at a Halloween party. And I see her around and I see her there. And it had been two years, so I actually had time to move on. I didn't have these, all these, these pent up feelings towards her. And the conversation flowed well. Like we started flirting with each other. We started having a great time. And then the most miraculous thing happened. We actually started dating. It was a very intense relationship. And it was one of the most amazing things ever, okay? So how was I able to get this girl? How was I able to start dating this girl and make her actually want me? Well, the truth is you can't make somebody want you, okay? That's the moral of this story. And the more you try and make somebody want you, the more manipulative and crazy and creepy you're getting. So first of all, stop trying to do that. It's like the movie Groundhog Day. Have you guys ever seen the movie Groundhog Day? Some might, people on my channel might be a little too young for that movie. Um, but Groundhog Day is a great movie. It's with Bill Murray. He's repeating the same day. He wakes up and he repeats the same day um, you know, every single day. So what he decides to do is he's, he really likes the news reporter that he's reporting with, so he decides every single day he's gonna try and win her over and he's gonna try and sleep with her, basically. So every single day he wakes up and he learns her interests, he learns the correct way to talk to her, he learns, you know, the stuff that she finds attractive, um, he learns all, like, the perfect date to take her on, he knows every single little thing, he says all the right words, 
and then he of every single date he gets closer and closer to the time where he brings her home and then eventually he brings her home and finally when he gets to the final part where they're about to have sex she just stops him and she goes oh i just it just doesn't feel right like i can't do it and he can never get past that point so you know what he does he gives up trying he stops trying to do that and then he starts bettering himself he starts bettering the people around him he starts helping people out. He starts, uh, there's a guy who's falling out of a tree. He catches him. Um, there's a lady, old lady crossing the street. He helps her cross the street. There's a guy who's having trouble with his business. He helps him out with his business because he, he knows what's going to happen that day. Okay. He spends all throughout the day helping people out, learning new skills. And by the end of the day, he's one of the most popular people in the town. You know, he's playing the piano. He's got some cool glasses on and everybody's having a good time because he's given so much value towards other people. And then the news reporter who he had spent all the, the entire previous movie trying to win over, she sees him doing this. And do you know what happens? They end up sleeping together that night and he stops repeating the day. Why was he able to do this? It's because he stopped going after the girl. He started bettering himself. He started bettering the people around him. That's the kind of guy that women want to get with. Women do not want a guy that's so focused on them, whose only objective is to win them over. How lame is that? They want to be with a higher value guy, a guy who gives value towards other people and stops focusing on them. So although I didn't do like everything correct in my college time, that's really what I did was I stopped talking to her and I started focusing on myself and I started focusing on kind of like the people around me a little bit more. Okay. But you know, there was, I was still being pretty selfish at that point in time. And um, you know, the, I didn't do it perfectly, but I did some of the stuff that worked. And so that's why I think we started dating in the end. But here's the secret about that story, you guys. When it comes to that one girl that you want to win over, my story does not have a happy ending there. Because although we did end up dating and we got, we did get into a very intense relationship, we did end up breaking up and we, it was a really tough breakup for me. One of the toughest that's ever happened. Like we were only together for a couple months. The problems that was the reason why we didn't get with each other in the first place, those problems didn't go away just because we started dating. Okay. And in the end, I, I don't even know if it was worth it for us to date in the end. So although you have fixated and put this one girl on a pedestal, there are problems that you're not seeing right now because you're so into this person. And once you, once you take a step back and look at it for what it is, hopefully you'll be able to see that. But if you do want that one girl, that's the way to do it. And uh, stop focusing on her, start bettering yourself, start bettering the people around you. And hopefully you'll see that a lot of other women that are better suited for you uh, are actually going to be the girl that you go for. Okay, so that's my advice to you. That's the long answer to this question that I get probably like two or three times a day. Um, so hopefully this helps you guys. And guys, if you got something out of this, hit the subscribe button. I have so many viewers on my channel that don't subscribe. So hit the subscribe button, hit the notifications bell to get notified when I come out with a new video. Thanks a lot, y'all. Good luck out there.